Hi there, thanks so much for your interest in Spruce Health. My name is Christian and in this video, I will explain to you why group mental health teams like yours love using Spruce for their all-in-one HIPAA compliant communications platform. So to start off, I would like to um, discuss the key features that are used by mental health teams today. The first thing I'd like to discuss is the ability to either acquire a new business number, we can provide you with a, a phone number with your preferred area code, or you can transfer that number as well, or if you have an existing number today. And also we can provide you with a fax line, or same thing, you could also transfer a fax line into Spruce. Now with that being said, all of the phone calls or text messages or voicemails to your business line will now be stored within the secure and HIPAA compliant Spruce app within your phone. And this way, your personal calls and texts from your family and friends will be completely separate from all of your business calls, texts, voicemails, and even faxes as well would be um, all within the Spruce app. With that being said, now you only need to use one app for all of your business needs instead of using multiple platforms for that. Okay. Now, as I mentioned, um, you're also able to send and receive messages from your clients. Now, based on our customers today, a lot of the clients have found it's easier to message the team if they need to schedule an appointment, if they need to reschedule, or if even if they just need to message your team saying that they may be running late to their session, okay? And why that's easier is that now clients can text you or message you from within the Spruce app. They're also able to download the free app, okay? And they can message you when it's convenient for them, and then you can respond when it's convenient for you instead of everyone calling you and basically, you know, calling you and maybe you're not able to answer the call because you're with a session with another client. Now, allowing them to message you is going to make it easier for them and for your team and for yourself as well, okay? So there's that. Now, with our uh, Spruce client app, they're able to message you, and if you wanted to use it for telehealth uh, video visits, you can do that as well, okay? There's that. Now, another key feature that you know teams love using with Spruce is the ability to automate some of your common tasks. What I mean by that is that we can set up uh, automated messages, for example, if a client texts your number, we can send them an automated reply, hi, thanks for the message, I may be in a session now, I'll get back to you shortly, okay? Or if they call your number, right, and they wanted to get a hold of you, or maybe there's certain um, tasks that they want to get done, they can have options that they could choose from. You know, it could say, thanks for calling our practice. If you need to schedule an appointment, press one. If you are a new client interested in a practice, press two. Or if you want to speak to your clinician, press three, four, five, etc. And this way, the calls would ju just be triaged to the, um, you know, to the team or the individual that you want that call to route to. Okay. And here's a, a visualization of that. So here we have a phone tree um, and a, a client can call and they could choose, you know, one for new client, two for Dr. Brown, three for Emily, four for William. And based on what they press, you could either have the call ring a cell phone, okay? Or it, could, or it could ring multiple cell phones depending on who's handling those types of inquiries. So if you have an admin team, they could be responsible, responsible for calls where a client presses this as opposed to um, calls that are just for Emily, Emily's clients, they could just press three and then be um, directed to Emily's cell phone and then Emily can either call or pick up the call or Emily could um, hang up and have the call just go straight to voicemail, okay? So there's that. Now, I'd like to explain how all of that would then funnel into the Spruce app. So right now I'm showing you the web version of Spruce. As I mentioned, you will also have a phone app that you can open up if you need to make a phone call, if you need to text a client, or if you need to send fax, you can open up your cell phone as well for that. Um, but on the web version here, you're able to reply to SMS uh, text messages. You can uh, send faxes here as well. Um, the only thing is you're not able to make phone calls through the web version. You would have to do that from the phone app, okay? So that's the main difference there. Now, I wanted to explain to you the layout of Spruce. So here, um, you'll see the different filters or folders, you can call them that as well. But here we have the uh, main folder uh, or the main inbox. Um, and if I click into here, you can see all of the messages to the practice. And these are all the different clients that we're working with, okay? 
Now, along with the main inbox, we, you can also create different filters for your clinicians. So for example, here we have a filter uh, specific to David's clients. So here you have all these different clients. And then if you notice under their name, you can see David's name and you're able to tag or um, apply this identifier on the client. So whenever a client texts them, you know, send a text message or they leave a voicemail for uh, David, we can automatically send that to David's uh, filter or David's folder here, okay? Now, with that being said, now your general inbox is not flooded by all of the messages when the messages just needs to go to the clinician that the client is working with. And this will help your team not have to waste time of clicking through each message and having to send the message to certain individuals. You could just have that be, be automatically uh, sent to the clinician, okay? So there is that. Now, as I mentioned earlier, um, you could also have a, um, a setup where a client presses one I'm an interested in the practice, I'm a new client, and if they leave that voicemail, we can automatically uh, funnel that uh, message into this filter for new patients and new clients. And this way, it allows your team to now have that view, and if you want to prioritize new client calls, if you want to expand your business and try to win you know, this new client for your practice, then it's best that you call them back right away or text them back right away, and this would allow you to now see those messages as they come in. Instead of you having to click through the inbox to try to find oh, these are new clients, and then try to call them back, and it may be too late. So now you can prioritize them even more, okay? Um, same thing with appointments. So if someone calls, press two for appointment, then we can also funnel their messages into here. And if you have an admin team responsible for new clients or appointment scheduling, then they would have um, overview of that. Um, now, everyone in the team will not need to see each other's messages, so you can decide what view each clinician or each team member of your team will have. So, you know, I don't need to have David's messages in here. We could get rid of this. But if you're like the owner of the practice or if you want admin staff to be able to help your clinicians to call or text clients back, then we can also, you can pretty much uh, decide what filters are seen by team members. Okay. So there's that. Now I'd like to now show you what it looks like when you're interacting with your clients. So here we have John Doe, one of our clients, and I'm going to scroll all the way up to the top from the beginning of our interactions with John Doe. So here you can see John Doe actually called the number and uh, we missed the call, it's shown here. And then John Doe left the voicemail and I can play that voicemail. Hello, this is a test. Testing, one, two, Three. Okay, so there's the voicemail. And right after um, John Doe hangs up, when they left the voicemail, they, they, they received an automated message back saying, sorry you missed your call, we'll get back to you soon. Now, for your team, you can customize this completely. So let's say somebody calls, press one for new client, and they left a voicemail. And if you want to say, hey, sorry you missed your call, here's a link to our website. Check out our clinicians and see which clinician you would like to connect with, okay? And from there, now that message is going to go out on their um, text messaging app, and they can just click on it and open up the uh, the link. Okay. Now, then the client texts the number, and they tested it with testing here, as you can see. Okay. And then from there, we could also have a different message saying, "Hey, you you know you've reached our practice. We typically respond within two hours. If you message us outside nine to five, uh, we'll get to you the next day." So what that allows you to do is helps you set up expectations for the clients, right? Because it's really nice to be able to send a message to a number and get a response saying that they got your message. So that'll help again, as I mentioned earlier, improve your or increase your uh, your client satisfaction. Okay. Now. On top of that, if you wanted to set up um, messages where they can choose what they need, you, we could also set that up. So let's say they text your team and you know you want to have, have your clients choose from a list of um, inquiries. Here it says, thanks for the message, choose from the following, right? And then your client will get a message saying, reply with one for appointments, two for new clients, three for um, rescheduling the appointment, whatever you want it to be. Um, and then if they respond with a specific response, so here they responded one for appointment, then automatically they got a message saying, hey, thanks for um, you know the message for appointments. Please tell us a time and date you'd like to be seen. Or if you want to include uh, a link, if you, you're allowing for self-scheduling, you can also include that as well. 
Now I'm showing you this because now, as I mentioned, instead of having someone always having to respond right away to a client, you can have a system that automates that for you. Okay. And on top of that, all of the calls, the call log, the voicemail, and even the text messages with your clients, they're all within one place. Now you don't have to use multiple systems for client communications. It's all within the same thread for this specific client. Okay. Now the next thing I'd like to show you is the um, internal noting feature where you're able to create these internal notes. For example, let's say you just got off a phone call with the client and you want to take some quick notes about the phone call. Here, I went ahead and uh, noted that I, I typed in here, phone call notes, right? And then I put client is interested in XYZ, need to schedule. And then here you'll see that message after I posted it, okay? And this is only seen by you and your team. The client does not see this at all. Now, if you wanted to pass information, so let's say um, you picked up a call from a client and you wanna send it to your admin group because they're the ones scheduling appointments, right? Then you could say at admin or an individual, it could be another person in your team, can you please reach out, okay? And what happens is once you send this off, the uh, team would get a notification, whoever's a part of that team or that individual saying, you got a message in Spruce, and when they open it, or when they open up the uh, Spruce web version, like here, like this view, uh, they would see that they could scroll up and see your interactions with this client, um, they can see your note regarding the call you just had with the client, and then also they'll see your request for them to reach out to this client, okay? And whoever wants to go ahead and take care of this, they would just click here to resolve. And then from there, they can either call this client back or they can message the client back, right? Hi, John Doe, what time and date would you like to be seen for your next appointment? Okay, so now they can message uh, directly. And why I'm showing you this is not only are all of your communications with your client in one thread, now your team communications are also in the same place. So like I mentioned earlier, all of your business needs, you would just use Spruce for that, okay? So that's pretty much how the um, interactions work in Spruce. Um, also, I mentioned you can have your, your, your client download the free Spruce uh, client app, and from there you're able to do video calls. So here I could initiate a video call if I wanted to, um, and that would basically ring their phone like a, similar to like a FaceTime call, it would ring their phone and they're able to answer your call, okay? Now, they can also send you secure messages within um, this thread as well. Um, and so, yeah, that's pretty much what that would look like, okay? All right, the next thing I'd like to discuss um, is our um, two plans. So we have the basic plan and we also have the uh, communicator plan. And for the basic plan, you get all of the fe features I was mentioning, such as the the, um, the secure messaging, the phone line. Um, you could also do video calls with this um, setup, the e-fax as well. Um, the only thing that's not included in the basic plan that is included in the communicator plan is the phone tree. So earlier I mentioned you could set up you know, a voice message, press one for this, press two for that. Uh, this also includes the text back, you know, reply with one if you need this, reply with two if you need that. Um, and also if you um, wanted to set up um, urgent responses or urgent uh, notifications. So let's say if your team is handling um, urgent needs from your clients, then you can set up automated um, urgent notification to whoever the clinician who is um, on call for that day. They're able to get notifications for that, okay? And last but not least, if you have an, a physical office space and you wanna purchase uh, desk phones from us, then you would need to be on the communicator plan as well, so. All right. Thank you so much for tuning into this video. Um, I will leave it at that. If you have any questions or um, if you need any assistance, feel free to message us in the app under uh, Team Spruce Support, or you can just email us as well at support at sprucehealth.com. So yeah, thanks so much and hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.